hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in um, I would like to start this off by just letting you guys know that um, there is a subscribe button down there go ahead subscribe you're not gonna regret it because I'm coming true with the <laughs> I'm coming true with the content y'all I'm trying to really take my channel to the next level here i would love to be able to come to you guys every week with basic but important information and uh, entertainment so if you like happiness love and everything in between um, this is the channel for you if you just want to make your day a little bit better this is a channel for you you know so um i've had the channel in the past you know when i was younger i wasn't consistent i wasn't really thinking anything of it like long term i was just having fun and um i plan to incorporate those videos in this channel sometime one day and just um <laughs> do some flashbacks um but today i i i I like I like dogs. I, I can deal with some cats, you know, but I'm definitely more of a dog person. Definitely grew up around dogs. Um, growing up in Nigeria, we definitely had dogs, but not like in the sense that people have dogs here. You know, it was either you saw like stray dogs everywhere or people had like guard dogs. Like in the neighborhood I grew up in in Nigeria, we had a lot of people who had guard dogs. And some of them were super uber aggressive, right? So you knew not to go with that house or close to that house or in that vicinity at all. And then some of us had dogs that were pretty friendly towards other people and other dogs as well. So I um, always kind of had a real soft spot for dogs, even after being chased by them, um, other people's dogs and um, I even have a sibling that got attacked by a dog when I was little. So if anyone should hate dogs, it should be me and, you know, my brother. But but um, I still just love dogs, love animals, love pets. You know, I think they bring a certain amount of joy and value to your life that you really can't compare to anything else. Um, so it's really funny to me when... People tell me, um, especially other Nigerians, tell me that, you know, Nigerians aren't supposed to like dogs or aren't supposed to have pets. I think it's just trash. Let's debunk that meat. It's not true. I am on my way to being a dog mom in about two weeks now. I've been wanting to do this seriously for about two years. And, um,. My puppy it's going to be a standard poodle so a, a large breed and what I really love about them is that they're so beautiful number one they're so smart number two number three they're hypoallergenic um, I do suffer from a little bit of allergies here and there so mm -mm, we can't do a whole lot of whole lot of so this dog is um, not low maintenance but definitely hypoallergenic and um she is a beauty she's going to be a red standard putu um i think her color is actually most likely going to stay and not become apricot or white but um, her father is red as well and her mother is chocolate so it's gonna be nice um this poodle is out of state. We live in Texas and our poodle is in Arkansas where I used to live. I did work with a very well-known um, breeder I've been talking to for over a year now. Um, so I am just super excited. Um, the 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 Prudu breed wasn't necessarily the first breed that I was thinking of when I first started looking into getting a dog. Um, <clears throat> I thought that I would get like a German Shepherd or something that 
I had seen a lot growing up and when I looked into what it required to have a German Shepherd, um, the, the shedding, the undercoat, the allergies they have, um, I just thought that it wasn't a good fit. They're super hyper dogs, need a lot of activity, a lot of training. So smart dogs, extremely smart dogs, but um, then I also looked into having a Border Collie, number one smartest dog in the world, but just wanted a bigger dog, number one, than a Border Collie. Like they're a good size, they, they usually range from like the 30 pound to like a 45 pound range. They're good size, but they do still shed and they can be quite nervous dogs actually. So I wasn't sure that that was a great fit either, but once I met um, a poodle, a standard poodle um, that my coworker owned. I met him as a puppy. Then I met him as a year old, and I just made my decision. I, I mean, just off of that dog. I mean, and now when I see them somewhere, and I mean, they literally all have the same personality. They're so goofy. They're so friendly. They're so good with people and kids, and it's just adorable. They don't shed. <laughs> and um, they do need a lot of grooming, but that's, you know, that's a small price to pay, honey. I just think that their personalities, when especially if they're, you know, healthy and bred well, um, can really. Um, be a a good fit, good fit for most homes, you know. Period. So, with no further ado, um, since we've been under quarantine, I've had to shop for everything that I need for this dog online. Um, here and there, I just go into Amazon and just click and order stuff. Um, some things that I ordered way before I haven't even gotten here yet with all this quarantine, you know, stuff going on, and. Um, as a healthcare worker myself, I just want to shout out to all the healthcare workers that are on the front lines that are doing that good work, honey. And God will bless y'all, you know. And um, I'll be back out there myself soon. So I just wanted to really take a, take a moment and just you know moment of silence. And I really just thank y'all because you guys are doing amazing work out there. You guys are the epitome of bravery and we thank you, okay? Um, so with no further ado, this is a dish, pet dish. Um, it's pretty large. Um, I saw a pink one, It's this one's black. I saw a pink one, I was just kind of like, uh, I'm gonna go with the black one because it kind of just matches things around the kitchen. But um, it's from Pet Zone. And it's one of those that gets bigger or taller as the pet gets older. The dog in my situation. And I just think it's a great idea. You know, it helps with. Um, neck pain honey it helped with something because they said you know dogs don't especially larger dogs shouldn't be bending their head all the way down like that but i, I think they would be fine anyway but um i went ahead and got this just in case i don't know and then i got a big one i know like some people get puppy bowls like little small bowls and i'm just like well i can always just change the amount of food i give but might as well just buy the bowl that they can use for a long time. Um, I also got a little puppy blanket, dog blanket. Ooh, yeah. It was backwards. It's cute. It's blue. It's pink with blue paws on it. You would think I was having a baby, right? But she's going to get the best. Um... I also got this waterless um, cleansing formula for like the 
for like the coat, you know, in between getting um, getting groomed. It smells super good. It is formulated with um, chamomile and and uh, lavender, and it just smells great. It's hypoallergenic. It's uh, plant-based it's just nothing to worry about okay and you know definitely gonna try it on her paw some patch uh, for a day or two before I put it all over her body just to make sure anyway um, and then another thing that I have gotten in the mail is this brush and it's a pretty good brush um, it's it's one of those where when you finish brushing, you can put, pull the pull the, the the teeth back in so that it easily wipes off the hair at the front. And it is by Hertzko. This thing had like over ten thousand reviews on Amazon, so it better be good <laughs> um, because she's gonna need a good brush. That's one thing that long-haired dogs like poodles like doodles like multi poos um portuguese water dogs irish wolfhounds like you have to brush them if not every day every few days every couple days you know at the most you have to brush them there's just no getting around it so there's that oh my lighting it's dying oh god um i also got her like a 10 pack puppy toy thing and i'll just show you a few of them this is like a rope tug toy type of deal so cute this is like a frisbee you know like a cute puppy frisbee comes there's like 10 of them in here right it's like a teether oh and here's a carrot and here's another like um toy but it also has like a teether here as well you know for those teething puppies and a little ball and a slipper as well um I really enjoyed that because it's it was a very inexpensive um, pack on Amazon and actually it was called the um, Adoya Toys, Adoya Dog Rope Toys 10 pack for puppies. And it's like just a joy, it just because it's like all the little toys they need for probably the first couple of months and then they'll grow out of it. They probably, they'll probably rip it apart. You know, you have to watch them. Um, Make sure they don't swallow toys and stuff like that because the bigger they get, all the stuff's going to be useless. And you know, the the uh, the new the toys she'll get later um, will be will last longer because they'll be fit for her size and her jaw strength and teeth sharpness and everything. So that's it for now. I did order her some food as well. It's 28 pounds. I was not bringing that in here. And it's um, Taste of the Wild just because her breeder already is transitioning her into eating Taste of the Wild because that's what they do with all their pups over there and it's worked for them for the last. The caloric difference isn't really different. It's, it's adult food, but they don't really recommend doing puppy food, you know. So they go straight from Mom's Milk to Taste of the Wild and I get the bison one I think is what it was bison and something else but y'all I'm gonna get out of here cuz uh the Sun is leaving me and um, I'm not a fan of this right here this situation so okay all right y'all so I also decided to go ahead and show you guys um, how our crate came to us it came collapsed like this and my honey is going to help me undo it and um, set it up 
we're gonna go ahead and set it up in this area it's supposed to be like a kitchenette area but I haven't put any furniture in it yet so for now it's gonna go here Good job, babe. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's it. Yeah, there's a door. This thing is huge. I'm so glad I went with the large and not the extra large because, honey, I think this is going to be more than enough. It's like a whole piece of furniture. I think that's the divider. Well, I don't know that you have to take it out since we're gonna use it. You just have to figure out. Well, we have to use it to divide it, right? I like how this one comes with like rounded edges. That's a good thing to look for on a crate because you don't wanna be like running into a hard, pointy edge you know yeah and that's the door you know and at first you know I was kind of thinking oh maybe you can train the dog to not you know be destructive and not need a crate but actually having a crate is one of is, is probably the most proper thing to do because dogs feel safe and their space, their cocoon, their, you know, their own, their own comfortable space. So you put a bed in there, which our bed for the dog is still on the way. Put a bed in there or blankets or anything that the dog is least likely to destroy um, and make it comfortable for them. And it, it's actually better than just letting them roam the house. And these are handles to pick it up. Is it heavy? It's heavy. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a good yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So should we leave this in there? Uh, uh, see how it works. See how the divider works. See how we can make the space smaller. Cool. That's very cool. I love it. See, kind of cuts that space in half so that, you know, the dog doesn't think that the other part of the crate is like a, a bathroom, you know. And this material here looks really good and like easy to clean. That way, if there is a mess in there, you don't have to worry about it getting on your floor, you know? Good job, babe. No, I'll show them. It's from Amazon. It's called Life Stages. And I'll be putting a link below, like I said, with all the stuff I got for the dog so far. So there's lots more coming in the mail, but so far this is what I have. Oh, and I told them I was gonna show them the, the dog food. This is the dog food that we got. Taste of the wild. It is the grain-free recipe. It's got roasted bison and venison, so. That's what the breeder kind of recommended that we go with since that's what they already eat. And you just want to decrease the amount of changes that these dogs go through when they leave. 
um, their, their litter mates. So, yeah, that should be the end of the video right now, right? Well, thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. I hope that you found any of this stuff useful. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please do like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.